to. Oh, you're recording today? Yeah. Yep. Just hit that button, the red button. I just hit it. Okay. Yeah. So oh. remember, <laughs> I forgot. We'll do the, the same thing that we did the last time, just call out the pages and hope so. Yeah. To exhaust any, any uh, comments or whatever. There you go. You're official now. <laughs> you're in trouble. Case. You should have, have done that. Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> By the time we're ready to go, it'll be up. Yep. <laughs> yep. All right. So starting on page 22. Okay. Uh, so the map, you got the map? Over right. there. Great. Um, okay, so I just wanted to make it clear. We are referring to what we used to call zones into districts. So we're not like talking about, I mean, I get confused sometimes because we have a zoning map. You know. Yeah, we, we no, actually we use the term land use district. Okay. So, so we're not going to do zones, zones anymore. We're doing districts. Yes, same okay. difference. Yeah, that's all right. Nomenclature. And then uh, first paragraph, third sentence down, just uh, which estab near the end of the sentence, which establishes regulation, regulation instead of establish. Mm -hmm. And then the next sentence, and standards pertaining. Uh, it, it is either pertaining to how development is shaped or guiding how development is shaped. Your choice. You have pertaining, so you guys can. I like it, guiding. Guiding, I, like I thought, guiding. was pretty good. Yeah. And then the very last sentence, our estimates about the future of our community. That, that, those, the last sentence was a little confusing at the end. Mm -hmm. The recommendations contained in the land use plan expressed views expressed at public visioning sessions the experience of the community living with the current ordinances. What do you mean by the experience of the community, like from? Feedback. Feedback. How about yeah. feed, let's, let's put feedback. Let's put some. Feedback. The feedback of the community living and our estimates are about the future. Was it, I, I said, I didn't like estimates because that yeah. sounds numerical. Yeah. Our educated guesses. <laughs> Our, our, our collective uh, vision is what our, is our recommendations. Well, well, so but no, it's it's kind of anticipating is the yeah. population going to keep getting older or no, not? We don't are know. We, yeah. 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 How yeah. We develop, uh, and our anticipations uh, about the future. Right. How, right. Our expectations is a good our word. Expectations. expectations. Yeah. 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 Um, I didn't like express views expressed. How about yeah. Is, yeah. In, is informed by? What were our in uh, the, the beginning of that what? sentence? Beginning the recommendations contained in the land use plan. Inform uh, is informed by public vote visioning sessions or something like that. Uh, uh, or shaped by. Shaped by might be yeah. good. What do you think? I shaped like by. Yep. Shaped. Okay. By views expressed at public. Shaped by views. Okay. Shaped by views. Okay. Uh, under goals, if anybody's not. The, uh, the second sentence, um, just I, I, I was uncomfortable with um, starting a sentence with two. Um, oh yeah. It is necessary to safeguard the town's marine resources, resources industries, and I put a period at the end of that, and I made it more than I made it plural industries. Right. There's more than and, one. And then the next sentence was we need to avoid incompatible development near the ports and harbors yeah. and to promote access to the shore for commercial, I don't know, that was just. Well, yeah, because it's, it, we have a lot of industries. We have uh, maritime industries are, I mean, we have anyone you could think of almost. So what do you recommend to you, George? I, I just was saying, well, is necessary, thinking of the two sentences, is necessary oh, to safeguard the town's marine resources industries, ports. resource industries, whatever, um, and then another sentence, we need to avoid incompatible development near ports and harbors and then to promote the access. What's, what's wrong with using the word to as long as you have to in front of the first line there? So it's to do this, to do this, and to do this. You mean for goals? Yes. Yeah. To word goals? I just we, like we sentences. Just take, you you don't like to do that. I just didn't. I, we just safeguard. Those are whole those sentences are better. Yeah. It, well, I don't. I don't. I, I was talking about the word two. Yeah, to, to start to, a sentence with two. To stay, I mean, I, I, I'm, an, I'm in favor of it. So, as long as you have all three of them there too. But to yeah, if we just yeah, put sometimes safeguard. the goals are do start that way, and but we could just make it consistent. Or something. Yeah. And then the third one is we, we must safeguard the town's agricultural and forest resources. 
uh, period. So, yeah, right. It's because <coughs> uh, right because you've got resources in there twice anyway, um, and mm -hmm. so if we're just going to, I don't think we have to say we have to safeguard it from specifically yeah. anything. Just, we just we have just to safeguard it. Yeah. Can we add that drinking actually, water? That, this is one of those state goals oh. wording. Okay, well then, by all means. But can we, we can just say safeguard, you know. Yeah, can we safeguard the town's agriculture and forest resources, period? Can we add drinking water resources? Two things. We must safeguard the town's agricultural, water, and forest resources. Can we do that? Because we talk about we water in terms of, of the river for maritime things, but we never say we need to safeguard our drinking but water. No. But that's well, there's, a whole, there's a whole section here about the wellhead protection zone, which true, is true, but that's different because yeah. we don't know. That's mm -hmm. not our that could that's not that, personal wells, right. right? And it also could not be the only, yeah. mm -hmm. right? I mean, By look at water in here. You you get an overall yeah. right. sense of it. Well, Think well, about well, all the towns that are selling off their resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, right. What do we know in generations? W would in the would it be? Worth saying to safeguard the town's natural resources, including, and then. Oh, natural resources, including. Yeah. That's just me getting wordy, but. You can do that. It sounds nice. I've heard that about you. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like we your natural resources. <laughs> <laughs> now confirmed. <laughs> that's a it gives you even what? a broader view. Agricultural, yeah. forest, Thank and you. what water. are we saying? Water. Water, agricultural, oh, forest. Oh, we could even say groundwater. Yeah, we could even say groundwater. Groundwater's good. Well, just water. Just you know, water, because you're saying be rivers, broad. too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The clean so water of the, the river. town's natural resources, including agricultural, uh, agriculture and forest resources, agriculture, agriculture, sure. water, res and forest resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. We like that. Okay. And I've got uh, nothing else on that. On the next paragraph, and this was because I was doing this 20 minutes ago, <laughs> and changing the word improve to clarify. Oh, the very last, the last sentence, second, yeah. improve to clarify. Where are you? Will be required. The last sentence overview. Of, right. of overview. Mm -hmm. Will be required as a result of recommendations to update the land use part definitions. Anyway. Clarify definitions. Clarify is good. Clarify instead of improve. And ultimately, what you're trying to do is right. is have them so that three people on a board know what they all agree to what they mean. Right. Right. And understand they're easy them. for people to understand mm -hmm. when they're reading them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's got to be like that, or else you get no confusion. Yeah. Anything else on twenty two? Page 23. Uh, so I wasn't sure what you meant by the you fourth the one down, the fourth bullet. The existing Route 1 commercial district boundaries will be maintained, but specific changes are recommended to enhance uh, development in the districts. Are you talking about the things in here where you're talking Just about bleeding around. over? into adjacent districts? Yeah, it's... Um, like, that would be mixed-use kind of thing? Well, um, what we want to do is give the option. If someone proposes a development in the commercial A or B district yeah. and they need additional land, we yeah. have a provision in the ordinance that lets them potentially okay. spread into that area. But there's other recommendations. We yeah, take. I didn't see anything specific about mixed-use, but I think we could look well, at we, that down We there. define the district as a lot. Okay. So Where is that? It's, it's in, we'll get to it. Okay. This is just an overall kind of overarching yeah. statement. That it's uh, uh, this is the broader part of it. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, on the third bullet, uh, where it talks about the middle school and high school, I, I, I'm not sure it's appropriate there, but what I did a few minutes ago was change that to the area extending from the middle school and high school area to Route 235 is designated as a future growth area, including housing. In other words, actually characterize the that stretch that we've imagined. Extending Other, towards 235. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I mean, because the high school is right on the town on the line. line. Yeah, yeah so it's you, on the town line. You don't get much. So it should, it, the area in the vicinity of the middle end. I, I said extend, I said extending, I said extending from the middle school and high school 
out to um, towards towards I Route 235. I can say we've done very little research to make such a recommendation. We've haven't hardly looked at maps or looked at wetlands or looked at topography or looked at soils types. Well, there's studies. Kind of there has been in the past. Yeah, we had a plan over 10 years ago that they did a lot of work on. This um, wall has to get re-looked at. This is right. broad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we want to expand vicinity, and how to, that has something to do with housing and the um, sewer expansion, should we the, keep it more general rather than trying well, to identify it? My, my sense of the goal, and it started, it started back when Lee Smith was here, mm -hmm. was uh, find a way so that the soccer field doesn't become a problem uh, every time it's rainy and they right. flush the toilet. Uh -huh. so and so that the we don't have to keep build, getting new septics out there because they yeah. keep failing. Yeah. So if, if you could you could kill several mm -hmm. birds with one stone if right. the sc school districts was and John Connected. Fancy would get more waste to sure. handle. But where it extends to, like to 235. It whatever, would have to go to 235 yeah. because and it doesn't. We didn't say where between 235 and the school, but it has to go to 235 because that's mm -hmm. where. Connect. The connect is for the sewer. This doesn't begin to figure out the route you'd follow or right. how to do it. It doesn't say anything yeah. about the route. More you know, new engineering. Right. And, and, and people own that land. Right. People own <laughs> that <laughs> land. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So it's but just kind of a directional. Right. Yeah. It's just because yeah. that's where the sewer thing is on 235. But it would be a. Okay. It, would, it would be a definite real plus if the school system was connected Absolutely. to it. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I see that for sure. And and I was just going to suggest limiting it to answer. that middle school and high school as being the descriptives. Well, that's just an end, it's sort of like the end goal from, from the sewer thing where the connector is out there that way because those are the two big, what do they call those? When you have a development, they have that anchor, the anchor <laughs> um, business or the anchor <coughs> thing that would make it reasonable. So how is this getting worded? Have this the yeah. area extending from Route 235 to the middle and high school de designated as a future potential growth future growth yeah. potential, yeah. make it a little less threatening. Mm -hmm. uh, God knows how many years that's been in the plan. Mm -hmm. Well, that's been in yeah at least yeah. <laughs> 20 that I know of. Yeah, I mean it's subject to funds and oh yeah, we never got the money before either. Developer. I remember when Lee was talking about it, it was like a million and a half. That was a long time Times ago. Five, <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. Any uh, moving on? I on got page some uh, just below on the growth in rural areas. Oh, can I can we back up this for a second? Yeah. Um, there's a bullet that talks about uh, industrial district encompassing the business park over one. Um, Second from the bottom. Third, 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 from, third the bottom. from the bottom. Uh, and what I was going to do, or what I was going to suggest is, you sort of slipped in at the end of that sentence, municipal sewer could be expanded to serve the park. That's, I would have that as a separate bullet. I mean, it's a, th there's, there's two tasks identified there. One is to come up with more space if you need it, and quite apart from that is a way to get we sewer. We can separate that. I, I just think it's two, it's, those are both big things, and the municipal sewer Connection is sort of a major challenge unto itself. Don't want to get that in the next bullet. I, I saw you in no, here quite a bit, George. The, the next bullet is for a future other space. We just an additional second industrial. District. If it's needed, if when need it's needed. It. Yeah, if we ever needed it, we yeah. should have a plan. It's undesignated. And when yeah. I'm not on any more committees. <laughs> You're funny. You're funny. Uh, it could be a totally different kind of industry. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> non-competitive um, okay under growth in rural areas the third bullet down it says route one a and b commercial district shall be maintained in its centers and blah 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 the third sentence down and to locate new activities near existing commercial activities do you mean activities new activities or do you mean new businesses we use the word businesses I mean it, it, do you does it matter or new commercial activities or no, let's, let's use the word businesses. Okay. And then... Um, we, and we would just say new, to look at new businesses near existing... Commercial Yeah. Businesses. Yeah. You could do commercial. I mean, it wouldn't be... 
Then um, the next sentence, new provisions to provide the existing commercial district boundary to be extended, ED, into the adjacent zone to allow for an expansion of an existing or proposed commercial development. Okay, that was where I, w I made a question, what adjacent zone? So you're just talking any adjacent yeah, zone to the- Behind that would be rural, but yeah. it, it might vary because that district goes to the whole route once, so right. it might vary a little okay. bit there. Uh, this is like a provision in the ordinance that says if, um, if the lot is split in half, yeah. you can extend the activity from one into the other. Yeah. We would put a provision in the zone to allow the district boundaries to extend okay. without making a formal zone change. Okay, yeah, that would, yeah. And the wording, the new provisions to provide, that sounds kind of almost redundant. So new provisions to plan the existing commercial district boundary to be extended into the, I'd say new yeah, provisions to Yeah, new provisions to, plan. to provide is kind of. So, so use the plan. word plan instead of provide. Mm -hmm. Um, the next bullet, to maintain the village district as a residential growth area and maintain the current lot size. So the village, this village district is not capitalized. So you have a lot of different village districts. Are you wanting to capitalize that and only talk about the one village district? Yeah. There's so many with, with the word village yeah, we in just, it. We'll use the, uh, we're just talking So about capitalize the that, okay. And then the one underneath to consider creating a new residential district in the vicinity of the high school subject to sewer expansion, which would allow for smaller lot sizes. I had a question. I wasn't sure what that was. Just, is that just, you would need to do that in order to create permission for smaller lot sizes? Well, having sewer, municipal sewer, that makes allows, allows so an opportunity allows for yeah. smaller yeah. lots. So it would yeah. have to become a, instead of a rural district, a village. I no, think it, it just lowers anything. the size, the yeah. minimum. But the only way you're going to be able to reduce the minimum lot size is to make another. Is district. to make well, no, sewer. is to is to have sewer to right. have lower. Excuse me, to have lower, uh, a higher density. Uh, you need you need the. Sewer. Do you necessarily need a new district? No, you don't need a new. district. I don't think there is a because you said that. Consider oh. creating a new district. Which would mean another uh, residential area. Yeah, instead of district area yeah. would be it better word than area. district. Yeah. Residential well, area. One, so one of our existing would set the front front setbacks and sidebacks would fit for a description. Well, yeah, right? if you have a, lo a so smaller village, lot size, you would yeah. reduce the. But in in um, in some of the districts where we have sewer, we have multiple dimensional stand, um, provisions. So if you have a sewer. You know, your lot size is say 5,000 square feet and your road frontage is 50. But if you don't have it, it could be two acres and 200 feet of frontage. They're all proportionate. And we would do the same thing. Right. You know. but so, so we, be would, we would give it a, 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 this new area, a, one of our similar district names. Is it yeah, right? or we can create a new one. It, it's not so it has <laughs> to have another. We just have so many districts. Yeah. Well, it would be just one of these plot, plunked over yeah. there. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Um, but we don't, this is like that in the, yeah. you would figure that out when and if Sir would ever get there. So it's mm -hmm. really what all. You, I've got one more on that page. On the, um, the second bullet, it says, depending on future growth, additional industrial designations should be considered. I would, how about we change the word growth to opportunities? Because it isn't just a matter of growth, it's a matter of new things coming along. So change the word growth to opportunities. Sounds good. Yeah. On page two. I had one on the first bullet. Of the, the first bullet of the first group of bullets? Yep. Yeah, downtown. The downtown development plan should be funded to improve the village and surrounding. I don't know what you mean by should be funded because it, it wasn't a matter of funding it. It had a plan for over multiple years to apply for multiple different types of grants to do multiple different types of projects. So there isn't one funding source, so I wasn't sure what that meant. Because the town can't fund that. Well, yeah, we didn't, we didn't really specify here. Right, but it's... Great. It's just a matter of to do the downtown plan, we have to have, we have, to have funding. So we need to word it a little differently so that does somebody voting for this doesn't assume that the town has to fund it. It says should be funded. It doesn't say by whom or in what manner. No, it, does, it doesn't. Fund should be 
um, funds sought. will funds will need to be sought right. to improve. So funds will need to be sought for the de downtown development plan to improve the village. And yeah. Da -da 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 -da. yeah, that's a good way to put it. Did you want to add pocket parks to the second bullet? I love pocket parks. Well, I knew Edward came One in. One of our favorite things oh, in yeah, the whole world. Like a pocket park to me. Want to go with that? Where would you add it? Well, it says recreational Next access word. to river trails and pedestrian ways should connect adjoining sidewalks. I don't know where you are. Second, second bullet. bullet number two. Oh. Recommendations. Okay, got it. So I thought if you'd roll pocket parks along the adjoining sidewalks or larger tra town trail system, would that be where to put that? I like it. <coughs> How many pocket parks are being thought about right now? About oh, five. Okay. I would have said the same thing, <laughs> but there well, are none right now. Must be true. Yeah. Okay, five. Did you get it on the internet? Could we put it in the <coughs> connect pocket parks to adjoining sidewalks and a larger town trail system? Just one kind on my street. Yeah, that's great. Well, like two on your street. I two think. on your street. One on your yard, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right your yard. You sake, are the pocket park. <laughs> for the sake of the insomniacs who listen to this meeting, describe a pocket park. It's, it's about as big as this room, and it has some trees and a place to sit down, and you can Literally. see the river. Yeah. And the town owns it. Town and the town owns it. Yeah. yeah. And, and town spots. maintains oh, it. Oh, actually, right now the water department owns one of them when we have yeah. our eyes on. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. town owns another one. Pine Street what? Landing. And uh, we're looking for people who would allow us to walk up their 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 property along the fish ladder. Mm -hmm. Actually, right over there. Town Payne prop lives over there, but uh, Elm Street is town property. The, the rocks on Elm yeah. Street are town property. Right. So I mean, so we're talking mm -hmm. right right now. My envision, and not, not that I'm the chief visioner, is a series of parks between Pine Street and the top of the McDonald's Fall. And it's places to stop and sit while you're walking along. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. lovely. Where's the other one on my street? I know the water. <laughs> I was just joking. I'm, I'm in your oh, front yard. The River Park. <laughs> oh, oh, the yeah. River Park. Park. Yeah, that that river park. That's, oh, that's, that's a big pocket. Your house is going to be taken by eminent domain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Will you fix it too when you take it? Uh, <laughs> George, we'll just raise your house and they'll start the right. Yeah, yeah, I've got a nice view. Yeah. And in terms of in, in terms of punctuation, nothing more good. Uh, on this bullet, you left out century. Oh, on the sec on the bullet under century, historic Arch on the historic district. Yeah, the nineteenth architecture. architecture. Yeah, the nineteenth century architecture. And I think I said here. Yeah, my question is on that <coughs> sentence about the new uses. You mention structures and improvements such as parking, accessory buildings, landscaping. How is parking consistent with nineteenth century architecture? <laughs> It's just w where it's placed, designed. How places to tie your horse up? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, they did have <laughs> pet cars back in the 19th century. Yeah. 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 Uh, have you seen one of those um, old time videos you know. of a parallel parking horse? <laughs> <laughs> you could say that uh, in order to go to the, the uh, uh, theater here, you have to find a place to park. And back in the 19th century, people could park and walk. Right. Not, not parking places, but you could walk to them. Yeah. In Albion, we, there was an inn that was on a hillside, and they actually had little steps, and they were designed for the carriages. Really? Yeah, and, and just the way they were designed, they could pull up the carriage. It's like so you don't have to back in an RV. And that's how they were kind of designed. <laughs> it was kind of interesting. Well, behind sure. the block, they had that place for the horses. The horses. All the way through yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. All the way through, yeah. You can see those arches under it's there. Full steam ahead of your horse. Mm -hmm. um, well. I don't know if where it fits, and it may be in a future meeting of another committee, but um, I understood that, or I, I have heard that there actually aren't, when someone adds, uh, say, apartments in the downtown district, not there's no rules about parking. Mm. Oh boy. Yeah, because it's a historic district. How come we don't have a plan for that? Or a requirement. What do you do? Is that and just a historical, yeah. It's just a yeah. historical yeah. village. What's but like the solution? library had to have a certain number. Yeah. Is that just it, because it's outside of the... It's also new construction. New construction. Yeah. So yeah. the apartments that are going in above the... Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
The laundromat. The laundromat. Yeah. 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 You know, the, the owner, I think, said, uh, I wasn't at the meeting, but he said, I'm going to put a little bit of parking in, but it's going to be utter chaos. Where is uh, it? Oh, well, in the back. Where I oh, in the back. In the back. There's a little and spot in the back. Yeah, mm. but not, not much. Not much. Not much. That's, that's 10 and units, but, but, but it'll be 20 cars. There's the parking space in front of that little building, that side building. That mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's shared with the other one that was just sold. The older building. No, 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 I'm not talking about the yellow house. I'm talking about oh, next, next, the to, next the to the laundromat. laundromat. Yeah. Yeah. The Aren't they zone? using that for the yeah. laundromat? Yeah. 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 He's yeah. currently yeah. using it because of all the building going on, whatever, is but when he is done with all that, that's, he yeah, should that's probably make that available. It is tenants. available for that. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't really need to have two parking spots per apartment house. Mm -hmm. Right. No. You can have one if you want. Mm -hmm. If you can, it's, but it's, I don't think there is any other one. Apartments. Apartments. But, but yeah. I, know, well, I know, but I'm just saying you don't yeah. have to mm -hmm. have. Yeah. But, but in practice, I, I, know I live across the street, you know, I park down the back of my house, but yeah. there's 10 units, there's got, I mean, that, that says at least one car and a guest, yeah. and everybody's going to be parking, double, trying to get into Double that. parking out back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put a second I, I story out there. Parking garage. I put a big parking garage. But that would take the view out. I know. I just can't joking. I know, but it's a thought. I'm not suggesting that we That's figure it out. Then. I'm not suggesting that we figure it out now. I'm suggesting that there be a sentence. That there needs yeah. to be a goal, or yeah. something. Something we should have a goal about. So that. that as we, as we grow the downtown area, there's parking yeah. considerations. You can't are encourage yeah. growth and density in there and not address it. We so can't. You know. All the apartments downtown that are there presently, not the Sproul Block, but the ones that are above the that retail building. stores, they have no parking other than the back <laughs> lot right. or the street, street, street right. parking. The back lot is privately owned. Yeah. Right. And what you about, would have the, to what about the Grange parking? I mean, that's town parking lot. Can they park in the winter in, that's in that area? I think so. I so the tax should be used to. Nobody knows it's about law. It. It's, it's, it's a, a long, long walk in the back. It's a long I walk I think nobody range. wants to walk up the icy... Well, what are we going to do about it? There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. Do about no, it, you so. had to go underneath the street and yeah. up into the parking lot. Uh, again, not <laughs> suggesting we figure it out, but <laughs> we I We need an engineer to do that. <laughs> it is a topic. But I think we should put a goal in there. Yeah. Down yeah. back. Teddy. 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 Yeah. 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 I think there's been some you know, if we talk about, about the town parking. buying it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it was about finding, mm -hmm. wayfinding at that mm -hmm. point yeah. where we already had it. Yeah. We, we could say, uh, you know, another bullet, develop a parking plan to accommodate future growth. Future, future growth. growth. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So according to a 19th century design. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think so, but anyway. I'll do it like famous Scott and put it right on the water. <laughs> Make the sidewalks really wide to take out some more spaces. Oh, I know. You could put ropes down the hill. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, chair lift. Chair lift. That's Hitching it. posts. Hitching posts. <laughs> well, the town could acquire the property from Ted Worcester, and they could then mark the parking spots yep. to be yep. more dense than they are now because yeah. they're not well marked, so you're not yeah. really using the space efficiently. And, you know, there's, there is that driveway yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. That store goes to Fred's yeah. stores. Um, you know, there may be other oh. opportunities. And there's that yeah. little patch of land on the side there mm -hmm. that. There used to be the treatment plant. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's true. So there's potentials there's for that. Options. Again, that's down the hill. Yeah. <coughs> I know. Then you're going to have to pull it's somebody up. It's not handicap parking, no, no. but it's no yeah. parking. All, all of Dan Goldenson's parking lots available. <laughs> oh, 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 all of Dan Goldenson's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's true. <laughs> Okay. Which parking? Yeah, at the Reed, Reed Mansion. Mansion. Oh, All that parking, well, that parking space at the Reed go under the uh, downtown <coughs> business or the historic <coughs> village? Historic <coughs> village recommendation. I was yes. just—I was going to put it into downtown business. Oh, yeah. Okay. But it could be, you know, it, it could be. Well, it could be as both. long as it affects both. Yes, that would yeah. be, yeah, because mm -hmm. yeah. it, it does affect both. In the historic village, it's not uh, probably not that much of an issue. <laughs> Where's the line for the? Yeah, when does this historic part <laughs> stop? That part. That's why I asked for the map. It's like the maps historic are crazy. And you don't so have a blow up. Is green. We need a blow up of it. All right, yeah, that's yeah. the historic. Mostly residential. And that. And that. So where's my house, Max? <laughs> Look at him. He even has to go. To where's in the village? You can't find it. Right around there. there. It's where the, the river bends. Yeah, you're not in the historic village. You're like in the He's downtown business district. Downtown business. I think so. I'd get a tax so yeah. yeah. You know what? We need, we need a blow up. Yeah. Oh, see now, this that. is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's kind of drastic. I didn't get any map. No. I mean, 
Her house it's in the back page. Right here. Oh, you know why you didn't? Because this, he, he handed some of these out at the last, last meeting. Oh, I didn't get them. Yeah. I wasn't there. I, have I a, was lost in the fog. I have a quick update for that. So there's oh, yeah. a little red spot yeah. right in the middle. Can we wait till we get to that yeah. page, please? Yeah. Yeah. He made it. That's downtown <laughs> business. <laughs> That's, business. <laughs> That's town, downtown I business. I guess so. Right. Uh, he lives further away than I do. No. The last uh, bullet on... Like okay, guys. The last bullet on page 24. <laughs> yeah. I don't know just what that means, and I should. Yeah, practice. what does that mean? The land area set aside for industrial should be maximized with respect to density and lot sizes. In other words, when you have, um, make sure your lot sizes are not excessive. Make In the industrial space? Spot. Yes. So that you can maximize the number of structures in that area. Well, you would only give, you would only develop what people are willing to pay for, right? You would only build what a business is willing right. to and actually site. Are you site. talking about lot coverage? <laughs> lot coverage. They don't have lot lots. Coverage. They have, when, when someone comes in. Well, you do have the lots. Overall oh. the structure, you kind of have to refine, you know, the area. After they the build, though, right? Yeah. Not before. Well, that's, a, that's an important question because, and I've been to the planning board over the years, and I always apologize that there isn't a, a, a plan, yeah. of an approved plan for the whole park. The truth is... Uh, that I don't know how I want to break it up because I don't know how big a space someone's going to need. Well, uh, every time. Every, right. each every time. time. Uh, hopefully right. more times. But this is important because that way it determines how many, how much structure you can place on that. And what we're saying is we want to maximize the amount of structure. But in effect, in would, you, would you be trying to predetermine how big of a no, no, business? No, 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 no. Well, if, if you said we're two acres per industrial site, yeah. That might not be a big enough right. for somebody who needs two and a half. Well, that would be just the minimum. That could be, you, you could set, you, you know, what we do in zoning is set the minimums. You can always exceed them. So um, if the minimum is low. Um, okay, you so, you, so you're saying set low minimums. Right. To to so that you can use it as. Right. Well, yeah, but that's right. There's no, right now there's, there's no that's constraint right. on how. Right. There's if, no I, if, I, if I come in here with a plan to make a 5,000 square foot building and put it on a spot that's got enough parking for that 5,000 square foot building, I don't think I would be constrained by the acres around it. The, the parcel size doesn't even come up at this point. Yeah, but, but we're looking at the gross area of your holding, so it, it does come up. So we're looking at, so if you have 100 acres, we're saying, we always calculate out what's the build out of that 100 acres based on the minimum lot size. And it would come to some number. Um, and so what we want to do for industrial space is to allow the maximum amount of coverage in that area. Because industrial space is just so valuable. And, and because it's hard to zone. And it's yeah. hard to but you know, you're also out. covering so much of it with parking. Well, that's part well, there's of it. And the state requirements to do with impermeable surfaces right, exactly. and all that. Yeah. Which has not ever been an issue for all those acres because it got so much that's useless or not ideal. We're just going to try to give you the flexibility. Right, well, then, right, well, then, I, then I will be quiet yeah, if, if you can make that sentence say more clear, what. More clear. Yeah. The land area set aside for business should be. Right, right now, there is no lot size discussion even of what's going on inside of an industrial space. Well, Maybe there needs to be. Well, there is, but you're, it's just... It's never it's just, impacted it's, me. It's just looked at from the whole... Because he has such a big space. Right. It yeah. doesn't become an issue. How many acres do you have? 60. Yeah, that's why it's but not an issue. 40 of it's up on over the hill. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I would... You're over the hill. I'd cut off the end of that. Sun. I'd say the land area set aside for industrial activity should be maximized with respect to density of the lot size. Sure. I'm just... The rest of it is is just a fact of life. And, Sizes and are difficult to establish because of man. You know, that's well, just. So, so this and and this. I don't think you really need to say that. This recommendation becomes a conversation and a regulation at some future time. I'm not really understanding. George has an industrial site. You're the sole owner. I mean, you've got a couple right. different parcels, but you're the owner. <coughs> 
bunch of different businesses can occur in there. If we make a new industrial area, it probably w won't have one area, but we would be selling off lots within that industrial we area. We wouldn't. We, meaning we, whoever's well, the there's towns, there's towns that do. They may, yeah, but they also may not sell lots. They may lease. Right. Well, well, whatever the designation <laughs> is, uh, different businesses would get one to five acres within that industrial area. So each of those business, you look at the over. it's almost like a cluster zoning. If you're looking yeah. at the overall thing, it depends on if it's a master plan thing with master drainage solution, or if they're going in individually to develop it. So are you saying if there is another 100 acres that becomes available and different people lease different portions, we are going to change the lot size within that area? What are in, we saying? In all of our districts, yeah. we have minimum lot sizes, and yeah. we have the lot coverage or density. Right. right. So you have, some, you have some flexibility on how you arrange that. Mm -hmm. right? You could do it, you, you know, you pre-identify, like in a typical subdivision, I'm going to carve this up into X amount of lot sizes. Or you could do it kind of organically. I'm going to develop this um, as I move along and set aside only that much area that each business needs. But if you do it that way, then we're still looking at the gross build-out based on your total amount of land holding. But when, when does that become relevant. The, the topic? Well, right from the beginning, it, it could come. And it all depends on how you design the development. Um, well, all right, let me, he's, let me he's thinking about choice. a new one more than right. Like, well, yeah. no, even an existing one, you could have, let, let's say you have a traditional industrial park that's developed into 10 lots, and they're each three acres. And um, you find that you sell two, but then you can't market the others for whatever reason, because maybe there's too much land with them. You, you can always come back and read the, you know, redesign that yeah. that subdivision or create a cluster. Well, think know. about that. That's more money, more time to do that kind of stuff. I mean, I can imagine having to hire somebody to do new plans. I've never had and to present the whole. I've never had to apply for a subdivision board. yet. I think we're overthinking this because all we're trying to do is give people flexibility in how they do this. That's all, that's all, and to allow the owners of the industrial park to Maybe maximize. we need to word, then it needs to be word differently. Yeah, this is confusing yeah. to me. We, yeah. can, we can change. Because that seems, doesn't seem to be making it easier. To me, it seems to be making it more restrictive. I think if you just keep yeah, it to the land area set aside for industrial activity should be maximized with respect to the density of the lot size. Yeah, but you're not maximizing the land. Density has to do with lot coverage, right. not the lot. So yeah, density and, and lot sizes. Yeah, and lot sizes. And yeah. Yeah. Is that enough Within. to just have in there for yeah, guidance? I, I think uh, anything uh, more just gets confusing. We, it puts a lot of stipulation in it the way it is. We're, what if that wasn't there? Maximize. We just drop. At all? Let the me, whole bullet? Yeah. I, I don't know what, I still don't know. In, well, in he's thinking about college. bringing, if somebody comes in, I think what they're saying is when, if somebody comes in and develops a new industrial yes, site, they, they want to They buy Reed's Field. What's that? That's the one next across, door, across the way. Yeah. Big flat field. The Reed's chicken farm. Okay. And someone, oh, who knows? Yeah. But like, for instance, the, then the town, what is what this is saying is the town wants to encourage development to higher be. Density. D higher, higher density. Higher density. So that means we're going, it's like George Germany. has to they live with houses, the old they don't use fields. No, no, industrial ordinance and then new projects. No, we would under? impose the new ones on him. On his. On George? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> now we got to. <laughs> that would be the whole point is that, you know. Um, so you can't, why would you impose an ordinance and not just say encourage when you've got an existing thing already going? Well, if the new rule gives you more flexibility, why wouldn't you want to does it give you more flexibility? Well, there's, yeah. there's nothing right now that I know yeah. of in the buildings I've built so far. Yeah. I have never been constrained by a parcel because there's there's no parcels. Yeah, because you have you have a lot of land. Right. And you, you know, so you're fine. You're you're defined. Well, what we're saying is with this provision, you could have more flexibility and more density as you build out the rest of that. So if in the absence of what you're working on here, someday the planning board yeah. might say you don't have enough room for that. That's right. Yeah. And this would say, well, maybe you do have enough room yeah. for that. Yeah. It just give you more area. So they could make more exceptions to 
No, not but there's nothing to be an exception from. A oh. higher development density mm -hmm. in an industrial zone. Okay. Would in the residential. Then in a, yeah. 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 So you could cover more land with parking and, and buildings. And buildings, buildings and less with and, open. But I don't think it would ever become, uh, I don't think it would ever impact anything until a future industrial park owner tried to create the subdivisions within it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that would be the time where you would... That would be when it happened. Well, that's, you would look at your land and say, um, all right, I can create, if I have a higher density, I can create 10 sites. And under the existing rules, maybe I can only create six. Are there any existing rules? Yeah, there are. Yeah, uh, I've just never yeah. encountered them, I guess. Yeah, in each of the districts, we have restrictions for the lot size, minimum lot size. Well, there's the missing piece. I guess piece we'll have to go right get there. the ordinance. That's the missing piece, the fact <laughs> well, that... That piece of knowledge, knowing that it's less less density than this wall for you. Yeah, well, what we're saying is increase that mm -hmm. to a higher. Yeah, no, I, yeah. And, and if you're it's exasperated with me, it's because you're you're telling me this is good for you, George, yeah. and I'm just going no. <laughs> I just uh, I just don't. It hasn't ever been a problem, so it doesn't seem like it's an improvement. But I can see where I've just been lucky. I mean, typically you do this because, I mean, the reason is it, it's hard to zone an area industrial. So you want to maximize your build out in that existing areas, and that's what we're saying. Well, Which uh, that would, you'd almost have to have, um, this would be contingent on sewers. Yeah, with, well, with yeah, that kind of density, of you yeah, almost yeah, would yeah, have yeah, to, yeah. 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 You're always going to be restrained by your waste disposal if you don't have municipal sewer. Yeah. yeah. So that that drives lot size back up again. Okay. All right. I'll be I'll be quiet. I'll reword that so it right. so it focuses just on higher good. creating higher, uh, development densities and lower lots uh, and smaller lots should be available in yeah, industrial necessary. parks to maximize. Okay. That sounds good. Uh, yeah. Okay. Next page, twenty-five. I have a question on the first. Residential district, the second sentence, the last word. I was not aware that we were restricting homes to single family residents in the residential district. Last, last word, where what? Second sentence, last word. Forestry, home occupation, and low density single family residential development. Yeah. I wasn't aware we were restricting the single they family. They don't allow multifamily. They don't and allow multifamily. So people can have apartments. In not in the residential, residential. district. Really? Yeah, no, you can't no have accessory apartments. Mm, not in the but residential the, district. I'm getting the. But pool. the residential <laughs> district is this area here. Yeah. I, just, I find that hard to believe. Like Dutch Neck and those oh, places. Yes. Yep. Like mother-in-law okay. apartments or yeah. something like that. No mother-in-law uh, apartments. We will. What one and two family would be allowed single. We consider single only one. No, no, no. Family. You mentioned two families in other places. So, if you say single family residential development, we're going to assume it's single family residential without any right residential development with nothing beyond that. Well, let's add single and two family. But the zone doesn't allow multifamily. Never has. That was one of the purposes of that zone, was to restrict that kind of development. Two families. I mean, two. Did you say two family or accessory apartments? Well, no, it's, it's already got. No, we, we use the term one and two, and then because we impose the same. So you have two layout. families in there. The marble apartments is not right. residential. Right. I mean, yeah. Waldorf apartments are That's from the. Yeah, multifamily and the residential. Yeah, multifamily dwellings. What about the one near the medical office? What about two family? I think that's still. Two family dwelling. CEO approval. All right. So we okay, need so that. it's CEO yeah. approval in the residential district. So right. Low density, single, and two Even two the marble two. apartments isn't residential? I don't know. Where's the marble apartment? The, near um, Friendship Road. Friendship Road near. Um, on there? Yeah. Road. Across from All Play. Yeah, oh, right, right, across from All On the way to Sylvania. Yeah, it's all across from. Yeah, on the way to Sylvania. Right before right Sylvania. Right before Sylvania. Right before Sylvania? They would be in the village. Yeah. The so building. they're not in the so residential district. Yeah. They yeah. must be on the, the Coles Hill apartments. And they're they're all in the, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So yeah. single and two family. Okay. Oh. okay. Uh, and then, uh, what does it say? Under recommendations, provide consistent code of uh, Somewhere in here, oh, I know. 
I, I, my question was, we don't ever talk about extending the sewer south down Friendship. Yeah, we don't because it's not cost effective. It's too expensive. Okay, so I'm going to take that out. People have to hook up to it if they've yes. already got a system. No, but I mean all the way down to... Yeah. It's, like a, it's, a, down to it's a minimum of a million dollars a mile. Wow. And so, and you're going to have to pay for that by hookups, and you just oh boy. don't. No one hooks up. Yeah. It's uh, like a 60-year, you know. The, okay. the, this, the second bullet there, preserve water views and open space. To, um, yes, fantastic, except I don't think there's anything that we can do to do it, except maybe tax policy, which I don't think you're talking about here. This came out of the visions, vision statement, so I added them in. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's... It's one of those things that, you know, we're, we're probably not going to be able to. Well, I mean, there, there are levers that you can pull in the in this building that protect the health of the clam flats, and there yeah. are levers to protect the code, but there are no levers to protect water, to protect water views and, and prevent people from having to break up their parcels because taxes got so high. Yeah. Did I just say something? Yeah, it's <laughs> true. No, I mean, it, it, if there was ever a reason to have a tricky tax policy it would be so you don't incentivize selling shore property. I mean, I just put it in because it was a vision statement. Yeah. Okay. I'd I like won't. to keep it there just because it's something you should think about. Um, maybe there are things that can be done when it comes to dealing person to person. You know, I mean, you might be able to solve somebody's issue with the reason that they may be developing mm -hmm. to change the water view. Mm -hmm. If you personally talk to them about what the plan right. is. Right, so if an appeal board was having a meeting, it might, yeah, okay. You might be able yep. to resolve it. Yep. And this kind of brings it to mind. Let's think yep. about recommending okay. that. I, I mean, this could, this could generate into yeah. a voluntary, be sensitive to how you develop, yeah. but not regulatory. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't, they I mean, did I, that in your neighborhood, I remember. Years ago, they built a house that took the whole, across um, from Melissa's suite. Yeah, yes. I remember, it was a beautiful yeah. view, and the next thing it was in your face. Yeah. Yeah. This is where rich people sue each other over. Yeah. Big yeah. Time. Sure do. <laughs> yeah. So um, in this area, do we, because um, agriculture and home occupations, at some point, I think in the ordinance, it says <coughs> limited the number of employees you can have in a residential district, and agriculture requires more than family members, and a lot of home occupations are. Well, we do limit home occupations, but number of employees. Right. Well, yeah. but not should we think about changing that a little bit? To um, I think we should, I think we should consider changing the number on that because there's a lot of the residential district. There's a lot of large lot sizes, and you know if you have agricultural going on there, you're gonna. Well, we don't limit uh, employees in the agricultural, just in home occupations. Yeah. Yeah, there's no, no limit right now. So should there they be a discussion that. about enlarging the number? I think it's two. Home of home occupation? Home, home occupation, I think it's no more than two that are not family members. Right, you can have other okay. family members. Yeah, we had talked about, too, about creating that cottage level. Well, we do have a cottage in the rural areas we allow it. Oh, rural, okay. Yeah, but we don't allow it in the residential. Not in the rural? And a cottage was supposed to be an in-between between the home occupation and the regular business, a small yeah. scale. Well, I'm just saying, well, if we're allowing agriculture to happen right. in that big an area. And, and there is we'll big lots. And a lot of people are being yeah. attracted to right. doing these kind of projects. Mm -hmm. Two's not enough. Well, and for the agriculture, we don't, there's we no, no employee limitation. Yeah. We could impose it. There's no limit right now. We don't limit so it. So just on the making, home occupation. Making jam, <coughs> that's no longer a, it's no longer a agriculture. Home well, it's uh, you know, what is it? it? Well, that's that's the part of the problem with agriculture. We have to redefine that. Right. But it would probably be if that's all they're doing, it would probably be listed as a home occupation. So if somebody was growing all the berries and making jam, <laughs> then it's an agriculture. <laughs> Lake is gorgeous cheese. They've got the cows. They make the cheese. Yeah. And they're going to expand, and they might want some. And they got toys. pigs. So and they have a sawmill. How do we deal with all that? Well, one of the things we recommend in here is. You know, we have to re we have to open up our discussion on agriculture right. and put in some realistic performance standards because we don't we have nothing yeah. to control that or even talk about. Because I've that. known people that it, businesses 
yogurt businesses that yeah. expanded so much yeah. they didn't stopped having their own cows and and brought in all, all the product so they continue yeah, making the yogurt and but they're still in the same place because they're work. trying to expand their yeah. business right. and well, their market. Right, well, they're too busy to take care of their yeah. changes the nature yeah. of the business. Yeah. Yeah. It's so no longer agriculture. We don't want to hamper people from that. Yogurt. No, we, don't, we want people to yeah. grow. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, we want, you know, again, home occupation is very narrowly defined. It's supposed to keep the residential character. You know, some things just don't fit that at all because of the scale and size. And well, you know, I think that, to. I honestly think that the residential district is misnomered in once you get to very large lot sizes that become agriculture. Well, just for you background, know? remember, this was a political designation, too, is that the people who lived in this area oh. wanted that protection. For that oh, area. I see. That's, that's why it has some of those limitations. Is so. it two-acre minimum lot size in residential? I is that right? I believe, check the dimension. I believe it is. 1.8? Yeah. 1.8. 80,000 square feet. Residential, yeah. you said? Yeah, yeah, in the dimensional chart. Um, anyway. The residential. residential. My vote is that we increase the home occupation employee Minimal number home. somehow Minimal for the future. But yeah. Because more and more people are working at home and doing stuff. And also, <laughs> it's a way, I mean, it's a great way to start a small business, mm -hmm. is starting it out of your home. So Be that careful you know. here, because this we, we get a lot of complaints on the other side where, you know, um, there's too much activity going on in the home. Mm -hmm. So well, there has it to depends. be a balance. Well, it also depends on where the Where does Jojoba fit in? Jojoba, is that in a residential area? No, it's in a rural. Don't even mention it. Okay. Well, I think, I think that's great, and I yeah. think what they've done is wonderful. Well, I think the neighbors... Are fine with is it that all. All that yellow zone they're, is called. The residential. All they're residential. Yeah. Yeah. So no, where's they're Jojoba? Residential. They're on residential. Yep. Are they in the residential? Yes. Yes. So Seven in something. Rural area. Nope. They're down Friendship. But I think what they've done with their business is wonderful. How many yeah, people I do, too. do they? They uh, six, I think. Huh. Six people. Something like that. But it's know. also it's a, one of the two. best. It's a wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, <laughs> so we let Very it go. We like challenge. it. Yeah, if we like it, it's okay. <laughs> and they pay taxes. <laughs> well, and we can they have, have jobs. We can have performance standards yeah, yeah. if it gets to be a certain That's true. size. You know, right. We can we do things about controlling the parking and the number of cars. And which all that they stuff. do, actually. Which is what's anyway. the, going to concern the neighbors yeah. is the amount right. of traffic and yep. the. You know, and, what and size any kind delivery of trucks happen to go to the. No, we have some laws where you can't go in. We can't go into Oh, I don't know, years ago. Yeah. Because of numbers or something. Yeah. Oh, you mean as a, as a no. consumer? No, no, no. Not that. Yeah, or no. even to visit. Yeah. To go see what it looks like. It's in the yellow. That's why I get so confused about these things. It's on the water side. Mm -hmm. That's uh, right. Challenge. Yeah. I got. I always just assume. It's 180. Those are packaging things. Oh, wait, this is one idea. I don't know. See, things just don't neatly fit into so these so definitions, yes. so and that's the problem with the definitions. Yeah. There's no yeah. flexibility. Uh, like you said, so maybe we need to look at uh, what is it you called it? Performance standards right. that can actually yeah, no, give it a little bit of leeway. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Well, you would classify it as agriculture. I thought you created that cottage thing just for well, that. Well, yeah, but we only applied it to the rural area. Oh. Yeah, that was never applied to. Them. What is the cottage thing? I don't know if you've heard of this. Cottage industry, it was, a, it was allowing people who had a home occupation who needed just to go, go up, up to that little bit level. to. Okay. Um, like hire four people? I mean, what, yeah, what like was the next four level? people. What was the cap on employees? It was square footage. And yeah, it was okay. a combination you know, of things. Park, uh, Size. Uh, traffic. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Like so there was. You wanted to add a harness shop, you know, or something right. like that. Right. You would right. limit it to like the. Capacity right, and that was a great uh, concept. Yeah, and a, and a, a good way to do it. So it was a natural evolution. Almost. I mean, we could say impose that, allow that in the residential. Mm -hmm. We could recommend that. Yeah, I mean that could. Be I don't see why not. Because as long as it doesn't, I mean, yeah, if, if you have those requirements, don't, 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 don't just don't tell them. Down and just don't tell them. Oh, okay. oh golly, yeah, they're going to have <coughs> before, after. Oh, well, they're teaching people at the public deal. Yeah, before but if you, if you, if you wrote, wrote that, that okay. okay, but if you, if it was well defined, yeah. Do you want to add a provision to allow cottage industries in the 
And I think as well, Barbara said, having two, that only has to deal with floor area, 2,000 square feet. That's the only definition of it. Well, it so at, it's people. At, at this table, should be traffic too. At, yeah, yeah, there's no, there's no limit. On <laughs> at this, it doesn't address it. It doesn't limit it. At this point in the process, should we not really just be trying to put in a sentence that accommodates this future discussion? But you, well, I mean, we're you know, to identify goals, aren't mm -hmm. we? Yeah, recommendations. And and but recommendations. The, the, recommendation the goal is going to be general. <coughs> which is to support small businesses or, I mean, maybe there's a general goal and I'm, it's because I'm getting hungry. Maybe, maybe there's a, a general a general goal that oh, yeah. creates the discussion that we've move. sort of started having here. You could say provide opportunities to allow other small scale yeah. business activities. Or, or don't, don't, in, don't interfere with the, small. don't interfere with the development of I'd say to allow growth I in small. I suppose to allow what? growth in small businesses. In or out? Provide opportunities to no. allow growth, to allow additional growth in small businesses. Um, growth in small businesses or growth of small businesses? Of, of small businesses. Meaning more. And that could be that we get a committee or some group together to look at the we'll ordinances regarding cottage industry yeah. and that. Yeah, that's, that's that way we don't specify. It's okay. just, yeah. Now how about like B&B, &B, like there's a B&B &B down yeah. mm -hmm. in yeah. that residential area. Yeah. They're allowed in, are they allowed in, in the residential? residential? What? Well, there's one yeah. down towards. Yeah. I think they are. B&B? Yeah. yeah. No, um, also the one that. Bed breakfast, it's, it's no. allowed yeah. pretty much anywhere except yeah. commercial lane and industrial. Okay. <coughs> Good. Sorry, Jane. Someone else will it. No, it used to be the Pennington Town. So Just narrow my blue sky. Blue sky farm. Blue sky, they went out. Yeah, blue sky. Yeah, yeah but it's so down. So <coughs> under Route 1 Commercial A District. I want to make one Okay, statement. go ahead. The third bullet, provide consistent code enforcement to address housing and related nuisance conditions. I think we need to make it even a stronger statement Why? than that because of all the different um, problems we've had with um, nuisance houses and, and um, people not moving things or not taking down buildings that are deteriorating and, and are a problem. Yeah. It's been such an issue Wouldn't this that I think somehow we make, need to make a stronger statement here. It certainly could be, be other areas besides residential too. Yeah, yeah why would it focus just yeah, on this, this one was targeted toward gross net. Oh, this is turning. Yeah, that, that <laughs> came from that that's, only one <coughs> that's only one. That's only one issue. <laughs> so it's provide consistent code enforcement. I just think that I'd like to see a, a stronger. It sounds so polite. <laughs> well, everything in here sounds polite. I we know. want to be polite. Yeah. yeah. But we also want the. But we want to. We yeah. want to have a little, yeah. little bit of teeth one to one it. Of, well, we can keep it, in, and then in the general recommendations. We can put something yeah. into yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. To make that it would a be a general yeah. recommendation. Yeah. They're in the back page. Yeah. The back page. I like that. I just want to get something a little something bit. Something a little yeah. more. Yeah. Um, uh, Format-wise, when I got to the land use ordinance recommendations, general recommendations, I wondered if that might not have served, uh, worked better if it was the beginning of this land use section instead of at the end. Oh, putting general in front of the... Well, the general recommendations deal with the land use ordinance itself. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. And As the others are, you know, they're a oh, little the more... specific districts. You know, the districts and mapping. And but, yeah, but, but it seems like those general recommendations frame, frame the next section. In other words, if they come first, they sort of frame why you're talking about land use. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just... Oh, I just... Re all right, we, can, we can move them. Just yeah. it. That's what I meant. Yeah. Just, yeah. just present it yeah. first yeah. instead of last. Yeah, that's not problem. And that's just my, yeah. that was just me. That the was just my the way works. it was written, so we couldn't refer to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So under Route 1 Commercial A District, first sentence, the purpose of the Route 1 Commercial A District, so capitalize Cap root, capital. yeah. put capital in a capital A, yeah. um, and which district is A? A is this brown area that you see. The flankers. Right there. The big. The big the brown. Big. The big one. B is the small one near the this gray area. Yeah. Okay. So the brown is route one. A A yeah, is the a. larger a. area, and the gray it's one is B. Yes. Okay. So yeah. then, yeah, Max likes to write long sentences. I would have done it the other way. Noticed. I would have made A the little <laughs> yeah, one I and know. then move up to B. Uh, then the last <laughs> sentence in the same paragraph, the district is designed for a mix of residential slash commercial uses. 
commercial uses, so I'm confused. Residential slash commercial, then commercial. All right, that could just get Then light industry manufacturing, then, it, okay. Yeah. We, we could say a mix of residential, <coughs> comma, commercial uses, comma, light industrial manufacturing. Well, it isn't um, residential. Residential is not allowed in this district. Yeah. Uh, it is it only it? allowed if it's under the percentage. Yeah. It can only be a small, it can be part of a commercial Do we want to change that? Where does it, where does, well, it, we, a, where does yeah. A start on the hill? It's I where can the see that, dark but that doesn't start tell me. No, going up Route 1 out of town, you go past. Which way, north, south, north or south. east, west? It doesn't really south. matter. So let's go south. So north is south. So we're going south, and where does the brown start? What's there? It's routes. Home. Is that? Tucker, uh, Chevrolet. So, so right here at the top of it is um, where the split is between Main Street West, and. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's oh, where Main okay. Street is. All right. So it goes all the way down to the just beyond the vet. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so like, yeah. So yeah. there like is right residential. Here, like right here is the Dana Dow lives No, there? it doesn't like matter that there is market. residential. Yes. New oh, okay. stuff is not permitted. Oh, you can't build back no. in. No. Oh wow. You cannot. Huh. That's one of our issues is that even the area where I am down, where Mangtown yeah. Road, you cannot build residential there even though you're a mile from the high school and the middle school. And that was one of the things we had talked about for years about would a mixed use area there be valuable to allow people to perhaps build, because that wide slice there yep. is about a half mile from, so you have, it goes from the middle of Route 1 in each direction, yeah, okay. about a half mile or less? Yeah, about a half mile. About a half mile. So what it means is that it's only commercial right now. And when did that, when did that happen? That was years, right from the get-go. 2005. Yeah. yeah. So uh, then, no, okay. bef it was before 2005. But uh, that whole go to Manktown Road, yep. turn left, yep. it's a whole housing development right there. Doesn't matter. Oh, it I mean, but new. There's a yeah. new housing and new. They um, it's n oh, it's relatively new. It's the property had a house on it where There's she's teaching gymnastics. Yeah, all those houses. Right. There. Apparently, they those got, are all new. They got permitted somehow. Yeah. <laughs> right there. So huh. should we take out the word residential? So where Richard Vanna lives. Well, yeah. the district is designed for a mix of. If we want to include residential. Why? Well, yeah. I, what is the purpose for not allowing residential? Facility and driveways on Route One. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, but how about is. if it goes a half a mile? Address that though. Yeah. By. But that was. So yeah. That was the purpose in doing that. Well, the the idea that right and it goes. But if it goes a half a mile in. I know. I know. So so. Um, I mean, and you, that's where you promote your cluster housing. Right, but also, right, you, you could still promote cluster. cuts, whether it's yeah. you, you could. put one road in. And yeah, right. and then have a bunch and of you've also yeah. got Because you've got Old Route 1 and yeah. you've got Mangtown Road. So On if people yeah. had access from the back, yeah. mm -hmm. that would solve the access issue. Yeah. But right now, they're not supposed to be able to build, period. I mean, we could oh, just I say the district that. is designed for a mix of residential, comma, commercial uses, mm -hmm. and that would open up. Would that then need to change the use chart? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, that's going to be part yeah, of yeah, I mean, that's yeah. this is yeah. this is setting the stage for right. Uh -huh. So then okay. let's yeah. do that. Let's yeah. do residential, comma, commercial, yeah. and then then that opens the door yeah. to being able to have access from behind, mm -hmm. not on Route One, yeah. and shared driveway, yeah. and shared driveway. Right. Yeah, like that and little place, would be that, that spot where Richard Van lives, there's like, one that goes right. in and there's one. The only right. one, I would make Eight a recommendation that on, on B, yeah. that we <laughs> yes. still limit residential yes. development. Yeah, that's the that. downtown. But B, yeah. unfortunately, yeah, B says part. see the recommendations right. for yeah. A, yeah. so you're going to have to change that on B. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, is it the build bullet points? Though? Yeah, well, that yes. but it does say. You need a bullet point. Yeah, you need a bullet point. So say, um, it's limited to right. commercial, industrial. So uh, the other thing I was thinking is where you say encourage development to extend deep into lot, the second bullet, rather than remaining at the root road frontage. Are we going to talk about having parking in front of a business instead of behind? I mean, that's a perfect, if you're going to have that statement, to extend deep in, it's a perfect thing to put the parking in front. Well, well everyone's park parking's in front. Well, yeah, All but I mean, businesses. we don't, I mean, like, look at this. 
what we're what development we're, to extend deep in rather than remaining at the road frontage. We're not going to. No? What we're going to offer is incentives to do the development. Oh, okay. We'll have uh, some carrots to push back, okay. and how they design it would be. Would All right. Be up to and the first sentence, I um, so um, which applies to portions of Route One is to replace the strip development with well planned. What do you, What do you mean replace yeah, the yeah. strip development? Re replace what? Well, and when, what do we consider a strip development? It is a strip. It's, it's a strip. individual it's driveways. Just individual, uh, yeah. that's, it's a strip. That's the strip. definition of yeah. a strip development. Because I, I think of them as those malls. Yeah, yes. I think of yeah, a strip right. mall. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah you, that's basically you what we want. We started out right when it's just low density strip mall. Mm -hmm. But there's no connection. There's no right. cluster. We yeah. want it to be connected. If you so. look at down in um, even Brunswick on Route 1, it's pretty dense. Where there's so much in and out, it's hard to get mm -hmm. through Brunswick yeah. now. Mm -hmm. well, we have, pro, you know, we, we're recommending interconnections. Mm -hmm. We're also going to pro, provide incentives to cluster a business next to another one. Mm -hmm. No, again, we're not telling them they have to, but if you do, you get, you know, smaller lot size, a higher density. You know. Oh, so if we use the word replace or use another word? Encourage. Then? No, not replace. Because uh, it's replace means we're not allowing them to do that anymore. But right, the that's new true. ordinance. But we're it's probably to discourage. Change over time. How to discourage to yeah. discourage, discourage the strip, strip development? development. Yeah, using well-planned attractive. To discourage. Yeah. yeah, to discourage. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah. <coughs> okay. okay. Let's simplify that whole sentence. That's way too long. <laughs> yeah, we took it out of Way the existing ordinance. Oh, yeah. well, oh believe me, they're, wrote wrote it. they're wordy. <laughs> Let me tell you. Need to ordinances it. are wordy. Well and it makes the planning board, it makes their job so hard. And you don't even have to say, you know, well-planned, attractive landscapes. Uh, you don't have to say a well land. And you can say, well, landscape, get rid of development. Right, that's a judgment. You wouldn't know. Yeah. You could just say landscape. Yeah, I would say well, landscape. Right. Uh, Beyond grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Encourage a uniform streetscape. Oh, you want mowed grass? Yeah. The worst. Yes. Encourage. Yeah. Can we put that in? You must mow your grass. <laughs> what is shared your, entrance ways? Where is that? Something simple. What is uniform well, streetscape? We have just by a chance. It, it, to minimize it roadway openings. Develop a streetscape openings. plan that unifies the entire corridor. Yeah. So you have okay. a minimum amount of yeah. grass in front or some, you but know, landscape. But it applies everywhere. Uh, okay. So you so kind of rhythm trees. an impression of I don't know if that's what Curb the, appeal. Yeah. Curb yeah. appeal. All that stuff. Curb <laughs> appeal. Yeah. It links the whole area. Make it more yeah. Yeah. Yep. And you can't be too onerous. Sometimes you don't have to do a lot. Right. right. Just yeah. to. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a tree Simple every nice. 500 feet. Yeah. All right. And it minimizes roadway openings to Route 1 and stop the sentence there. The fact that it's going to provide vehicle connection between lots, you can assume that that's. No, I that's, have, no, you have to, you have have to write that. that? Yeah. yeah, vehicle connection between lots is an essential. That's, that's a different. Because we don't have that at yeah. all. I'd find I'd replace you all of that with shared entryways. I'd say minimize roadway entries with shared entryways. Yeah, but the connection between lots is different. But if you share the entryway, they got to get from yeah, one place to the next. we're talking about getting from lot to lot in the back. He doesn't want them to have yeah. to come back out to get to Minimize. another business. Yeah. Yeah. Went, they're talking about a, like a parallel kind of yeah. thing in the back. Simplify the sentence. It's too right. wordy. But it's two different things. <laughs> Simplify. Yeah. You could divide the sentence in half. Make two yeah, you it. Yeah. yeah, I'll split it into yeah. two so sentences so it's Just to point so out clearer. something about all this is that it increases non-permeable surfaces. Just saying. You know, and increases uh, issues with um, runoff. Not uh, necessarily. If you push back in the lot, you can be yeah. having some opportunities up front, too. So you can deal with yeah. stormwater better? And, and, and you could plant more things. On the lot. And, and there are and newer ways of lot. doing that, like the gardens is doing that. Oh, doing yeah, I know. That. I was just thinking That's about stuff. adding all of yeah. that more non parking. <laughs> more, more yeah, parking. well, it's just making, but yeah. using different roads, more different roads. material. Okay. Any other things on point five? No. Nope. Yeah, I got 26. One in the first paragraph, the um, the third sentence from the end of the paragraph. It's talking about the retaining the character and density which contains comma open yeah. spaces. I don't know what that is. I don't know. 
that whole that sentence is yeah, very you said the second sentence because it's the whole rest of the paragraph. Yeah, I know. That's in, that's three sentences. Yeah, it's got to be three sentences in there, <laughs> or two sentences. <laughs> but take the word "contains" out because it has no meaning. Or either take the, take the, the comma out afterwards. Or you're encouraging it. Are you encouraging the character and density? Is that a performance standards would encourage open spaces, agricultural uses, forestry? Maybe it's encourage. Would you would you encourage that? And we could just say and contains open spaces. Well, that's a, it means it's limited to that contains and I mean I don't know. Or encourages and contains, which can be encourages. Okay. We'll see if we by can by non-intensive uses, by the way. Yeah. What's that? Non what is meant by non-intensive uses? It's a term of art. I guess it's a term of art. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it. I can tell you what intensive uses is all about on a little dirt road where I live. <laughs> I'm I'm going to leave. Can I just make a comment on page 27? Um, your third bullet up in the bottom. Develop a new review process that is between the code enforcement office and I think there's got to be a better word than between. I think yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, it's scale? another scale. Is it referring to scale? I yeah. think that's yeah. 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 So that there's another layer. Right yeah. for something that's not here and not there, but fits in the yeah. middle. And I don't know what the word would be, but yeah. I'm just saying that between isn't going to do it for me. Scalable is what we probably want to say. Okay. Scale. Scale between. I don't know. And it's going to be a fairly scaled. Um, yeah, like scale Small between. group of voters who've gotten to page 28. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this, 28, I got all kinds of stuff. No, I meant it's a long document, so yeah. I mean, it may be moot how we exactly word the last four pages. There are many who won't get that far. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I, I being yes, the work of this committee. Pardon me? What would you like to say on the President report? Trump with a mini oh, page, page four. <laughs> Put a joke. Put a couple <laughs> jokes in the end. See if people really read Cartoons. <laughs> that, is, that is a level Train between. Training additional review. Process, no. Additional Criteria. Review. Um, level? Which page are we level. 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 Perfect. Yeah, review level. Yeah. Level. A new review level, yeah. That works. And and the word between, and maybe you would say less less rigorous than, but more rigorous, I don't know, something. Yeah. Because yeah. the, the site review separate. is really designed for like large scale. Yeah. And we're using it, sometimes it doesn't fit. No, no good evening. Thank you all. <laughs> separate from the code enforcement officer and which, review and site which review? spelling of Sproul is Jessica? Well, that we have to define that. Is she an OW or an OU? OU. Okay. Um, so we were back in rural districts. Um, I think we were 26 top paragraph. Yep. Um, halfway down, the fourth sentence down, blah, 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 blah. Traditional rural activities subject to performance standards that Instead of retain, I would write encourage for that one. Yeah. We encourage. said that already. Encourage. Oh, we did? I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Okay. No, we did that for no. contains. Yeah, which encourages we did encourage, open spaces. Though. But we can't have encourage twice. You mean, ret you mean instead of retain. She She's doing a different word, Karen. Where are you? Both? Where are so you? Rural district, page so 26. Which line down? Middle. One, two, three, four. In the fourth, fourth line, line down. down. That, oh, we already said encourage. Right there, no, probably. she's no. talking about retain, not contain. We yes, right. we replaced contain with encourage. I replaced the proposed, retain with the proposed sentence would be at would be traditional rural activities subject to performance standards that encourage the character right, density encourage. which open spaces agriculture uses da 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 da. Oh, yeah. right. oh you so took contains oh, out. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So Barbara, what were you? That, that's that's all. Right. Gotcha. That's right. Yeah. So the other thing is manufactured home parks. Do we want to um, tuck in a tiny home? Parks, oh yeah, not somehow we think of that in the future. Uh, manufactured home parks are permitted, oh, 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 oh. but at some point we have to think about because that's Time apparently out. what people are doing. A lot. Yeah, oh. I mean, I, I, we just have it in there to, con to consider, but we haven't specified where where we put it. Mm -hmm. I would envision it could be allowed anywhere where there's a single-family home. Right, but it could also be 
um, more dense. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Within a two mile radius of so it's not necessarily Jefferson manufactured and Route by one. a company, but the yeah. individual. Yeah. Yeah. Is that like for new? <coughs> no, this was home put parks? in. This was put in back, way back. About just to limit mobile we, home park, new mobile home parks. Okay, because we do have some that are further yes. than oh, two yeah. miles. Oh, yeah. yeah no. Our ordinance this was says too limited. that if they're okay. pre-existing, they're fine. Right, okay. So that's that's for newer ones. That's when I'm near the sewer. That's possible. Yeah. Well, they're down, you know, down Friendship. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, there's a big one down there. There are two. There are two mm -hmm. big ones down there. Five for this one. Oh, the oh, little Fred one? Fest. Oh, yeah. That yeah. Oh, yeah, Fred there's that, too. I wouldn't call that a mobile home park. <laughs> <laughs> have you been up there? I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> it is plotted. It yeah, is. It's, it's well, maybe it's on paper it looks like it. Not, it's not, not in the. It could be. So Reality doesn't. doesn't show. <laughs> yeah, on page twenty-eight. Are we? Are on twenty-six or twenty-seven? I'm done with twenty-six, and right. we did already re reword twenty-seven for George. Right, page twenty-eight. The fourth bullet down. Update and revise the use chart to include contemporary activities by definitions. Um, I'm assume, I put a question mark. I'm just assuming that um, that's just a generic Great. update, right? And then the one above it, updating and revised agricultural performance standards, we have event venues, tourist and recreational uses, and, and food processing. Do we do we have hospitality already included in there? No, we just approach it as event venues. We should include hospitality. Hospitality is different because yeah. it might be a larger overnight uh, yep, facility. No, that's a good one. Hopefully, we want it in. It would be nice to have well, that, it in. This someday. should generate a discussion yeah. on mm -hmm. right. a lot of new activities yep. we're not dealing with. The next one, uh, what was that one? Which one are you on? One, two, three, five, five down. Okay. Update and revise performance standards to provide additional guidance on how new development should be designed. My question was all types of new development? Just a generic. Kind of direct uh, in a lot so of areas, our performance standards are kind of vague. And oh, just sort of okay. So and help. It's never them. feasible to provide alternative okay, and flexible gotcha. options. Yep, gotcha. So we can give people choices. So. Mm -hmm. Did we say there's two bullets down? We talk about revise the types of uses allowed in industrial di districts. You've got food processing, and aquaculture. Was there also a suggestion in another part of this document for greenhouses or greenhouse? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah hydroponic. actually, they're I kind of factory scale greenhouses. Yeah, I think George yeah. was talking about that. Yeah. Where are we now? On the uh, fifth, uh, wait a minute, no, one, two, three, right here. yeah. Seven. <coughs> Do we want to add greenhouse to that? Too? I, I think we just put agriculture in. Agriculture. And agriculture. Right. So you just add. Yep. Yeah. Should we, we put agriculture or should we put factory or warehouse agriculture or is there another or building? Way to well, we could just use greenhouse. But they won't be. They be, be, they be contain be. buildings with lights, controlled lights and you know what I mean? What are agriculture they called? Buildings. Is, there is there a different name? Oh, there isn't. Oh, 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 say agriculture right. buildings. Growing mushrooms, they do that in yeah. some Mushrooms, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And hydroponics, stuff Hydro like that. Right, hydroponics. So I'd, I'd say agriculture buildings. Because there's no specific word for. It's not only greenhouses. I well, mean, it's maybe just agriculture is enough. Agriculture would cover. But would agriculture cover is like always production. thought of as open air. Uh, production. Uh, production yeah, but food processing. Food processing and production, agriculture and agriculture too. It's not bad to be a little redundant on that. Yeah, on that one. Would food production and processing? Would that? Yeah. Well, that clarify? doesn't cover. I mean, you. If you if add mushrooms, you're not necessarily preparing them for. But you are producing. Yeah. So it's that doesn't mean you have to do both, right? No, no. it means these are a any list of, of these things. Possible. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, we could say revised types of land use industrial to reflect contemporary activities and new ventures in. Yeah. Okay. Would that be better? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. And new ventures. So then we're opening it up, and then we're food processing, aquaculture, agriculture, and similar yep. activities. Do we not want to do that stuff in commercial? Bless you, bless you. Thank you. By the way, this we're, is just we did it because they're specifically not allowed in the 
Right. Ago. That was why we had that. Before. Right. Before they were not. And George was, yeah. Yeah. Right. Or we could say revised type use allows in industrial and commercial districts. Yeah, let's that's do that. that. That's let's do that. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. Because why limit it? Right. Mm -hmm. and so it says create in s the next bullet, create incentives for commercial development to locate near other existing commercial activities and not to concentrate building only at the existing road frontage. I, I was wondering what you meant by that. Did you have examples or what you were thinking? If you're going to choose a site to build, where we're going to provide an incentive to build in closer proximity to an existing business. So we create mm -hmm. So less, what do they yeah. call that less thing? Less split, yeah. Less sprawl. Split. sprawl. No, no, it's not just sprawl. There's a, uh, when you sprawl. have, what's the distance between your property line and your house? The setbacks? Less setbacks. setbacks. So smaller setbacks. Well, it's more, it's more than that. It would be just, you know, if you had a choice to build, you know, three lots over or the lot next to an existing business, we're saying we'll give you an incentive to build next, next to that store. existing to business. buy that lot and, Instead and not the three right. lots over. You, you don't have to, but you'll get an incentive yeah. to do it. It, it an creates an incentive density yeah. Yeah. in yeah. terms of we might give them it easier to what do you, what's the incentive? Yeah, we like could have a, we could uh, <laughs> have a lower right. lot size. Okay. No, it'd be a zoning incentive. Okay. A lower lot size or higher density. On that okay. Street. Um, and I know to capitalize the in the next one. Yeah. Incorporate, that's the one below that, incorporate traffic uh, access provisions oh, okay. between adjacent commercial developments to allow vehicles to travel. You get a space there on the vehicles. To yeah. travel between lots instead of having to re-enter the corridor. Uh, so basically that's the specific statement to encourage people mm -hmm. to create new little connecting roads yeah. between parking lots in the back. Yeah. It could be any but if people are anywhere. encouraged to build their buildings further back into the lot and build their parking in the front, that do, that discourages the whole thing. Well, yeah, yeah, but you know what? It could encourage them to put the yeah. building in front and the yeah. parking behind. But, they, but we have a statement back here that says not to put the building in front. On the road. Well, not on the road. Not, not on, on the road. road. Push it. Back, push, push it, it back from the road. You have your landscaping, you have your building, yeah. and the driveway it takes everybody behind it. It's just like the uh, Hannaford up in Rockland. Yeah, you've I know. got uh, J.C. Penney's, and you've got right. Hannaford's. Yeah. I was just looking at and the a bank words. and something else, well, and you, you know, have some one entrance. Mm -hmm. What developers sometimes do, they look only at the frontage, and they, and then they have the lot behind it that you can't get to anymore, and mm -hmm. so then they want to redevelop, and they right. don't have. You know, right. the, the, fir the first building kind of blocks future development. Right. So and think think about it, though, really. I mean, when, when businesses are looking to build and invest on a commercial road, they're looking for that road frontage to grab the customer off the road, right? But you can still do that. So we need to include signage that would allow them still yeah. to do the attracting. It's, mm -hmm. it's not, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that they don't put the building near the road. That they just designed the building that doesn't preclude using the back of the, the back. You guys well, are going to have to be real specific when you do that, because yeah. this wor this sentence, Karen, encourage development to extend deep in to the lot rather than remaining at the road frontage. That to me is says the opposite of this. <laughs> well, you know? but look at family dollar. Oh, at I. Each thing. But I, that's what I was thinking Individually. about. Individually, and yeah. that's why I said that meets both of those. But that's what I was thinking. You put the parking in front. And then they were saying, no, no, we're not saying put the parking in front. We're saying put the parking in back so that you can connect. Because it could go either way. The parking no, lot doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't matter. Well, doesn't look, matter. look at these statements Walmart don't Brunswick. Don't change it one that, way or the other. That goes yeah. way yeah. in. Right. So, well, all right. We're just, we're you guys saying, are just going to, yeah. the planning board's going to have their work. Well, this isn't prescriptive. This is no. incentive. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you don't so have to So you're still going to have to be very careful in the wording in the land use ordinance to get around that. Because that, to me, is very confusing well, we have, to a developer. You know, well, you look up at that. I think it's is it. What's next to that? Where you build? Where they build houses? You know, they have those model houses right up on the hill. Ralph's Ralph's Ralph's? Ralph's? Yeah. No, across the no. street. The other one. Oh, the one that's um, yeah. Uh, Jason, the other the, side. The next to the Rockland. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, 
shouldn't there be a way if you pull in, you want to go in and talk to those guys that you could just go to the bank yeah. without getting back? Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's the, I think that's what we're talking about. Here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And so oh, I know what we're yeah. talking about. Yeah. But when you read all the words they and you put them all together, <laughs> if they don't write the land use ordinance oh. carefully, it oh. is going to cause a trouble. Oh, I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't see yeah. any conflict in that with the I others. I see it can go either way. Yeah. Either yeah. front or back, doesn't matter. Yeah, can't, no. you, can't you get yeah, there it's, from here? Not, we don't want to be prescriptive here. Yeah. Just All right. Just so you can connect them. All, All right. we're going to say is think before you, before you do it. Right. <laughs> so, okay, so incorporate traffic access prov provisions. Maybe you want to say something about incentives there. Or maybe, I mean, to remind the people who are going to be brainstorming uh, to do the land use ordinances. Where, where are you now, Jim? The same one. Incorporate traffic access provisions. But down below it says update parking standards and right. provide incentives for short okay. parking. Okay, so those should maybe be closer <coughs> together or something. Mm -hmm. That's all I got on that page. Yeah. And we also have some allow for the creation of shared stormwater right. treatment. Right. Designs. Yeah, yeah this this mm -hmm. would be a this covers the yeah, this way you could a plus. have one stormwater yeah. plan that could yep. Deal that, would cut, yeah, that would cut uh, a lot and, uh, of costs. Do, but there's some maintenance involved in that. How do you assure that it's kept up over time? Well, that's, that's yeah. I mean, that would Actually, be one large piece. That would be up to part of the agreement. Yeah. They'd have to With Chapter agree. 500, it, you have to um, include maintenance over time. The DEP regulates that now, which is good. I mean, right. I've seen they say the, home, the owner has to... This, that, and the other. Oh, they do, but they, they inspect it every five years. They do? Yeah. That's new. Yeah. The, the town doesn't have the capacity to do that. Right. <coughs> now, we can add another thing, Karen, about uh, code enforcement in here, too. Just to yeah, something. Um, something similar but stronger. Yeah, stronger yeah. wording of... Yeah. Um, from page 25. Empower the code enforcement officer to take stronger action against nuisance sites. Or develop a process for taking action. Or de yeah, develop yeah. a process. Yep. Develop a process for We're code enforcement that. officer to. Or for the town to, or the, whatever mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, to is actively deal with nuisance sites. Do you know what this is? Right nuisance here? residence. Yeah, that's, I think that's where it leads. I think it's a nuisance site. That takes care of. Oh, right down the line. Too much music at an event okay. too late at night. That that's takes care of that's too, kind of you know, like down a, a mess. Junk a in the front yard. Yeah. Junk in the front yard. It could be a house that's falling down. I feel, think if you should just say nuisance site. sites, oh, it doesn't matter if it's other. residential, yeah. rural, Fintown is commercial. Oh, that's a village, a rural village. Yeah. Right, but who's down there? Kind of Why like want to cover is that no matter Fintown what district road? it is. That's uh, where the story is. Okay, if gotcha. they can follow yeah. the same process. Flipper's okay. supposed to be down there. Yeah. Oh, right. Flippers? Flippers. 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 I think there's a, yep. somebody has a business next to them, some sort of yeah. something so else. It's, it's a storage unit. It, that's it. Storage unit. Do they own that? Don't they own? Yeah, Lee's own all that. own that? Yes. Yeah. So the little business that the Lee Neeson is, it looks like a. It's way up here somewhere. Yeah, it's way up there. So yep. that's in the, it's the old vast. It's in, a, it's in the residential zone, mm -hmm. yep. Now, Max, could I get a copy of what you handed out on Monday, on Tuesday? That I this thing out? here. You're going to get a new one. Okay. Yeah. 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 We're up. It'll yeah. be Monday. Okay. And what happens next? You had to bring this. Yeah, yeah we're all done with the. Oh my God, it's warm. Yeah, yeah. our next step is to um, we'll distribute one. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't paper really. copies. We'll, a copy will go to the planning board. A copy will go to the select board. The public hearing will be scheduled for the 29th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we're going to meet immediately February after. February 29th. <laughs> March we have to give a 30-day notice. So yeah. between now and the 29th, um, we're going to get the copies out there. We'll have to go online, and there'll be three paper notifications. Mm -hmm. And so, what, what on the public hearing? People are just seeing this. No, the whole. The whole thing. And what is the whole thing encompassed of? Yeah, you know, this is just. Well, this is really the plan, but the rest is the inventory section. Oh uh -huh, yeah. The data. So <coughs> all um, the data. We'll have that printed Monday or Tuesday. Wow. So we're going to ask if, if the board could come in and pick up a copy. Yeah. So you'll get. We'll have both these and mm -hmm. the yep. other ones. Okay. And, um, on Monday. 
on um, who Monday, would, let's say Tuesday. Tuesday. Wednesday, because I'm here Wednesday. Wednesday. All right, Wednesday. 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 Yeah. We're going to have Thursday, no, Friday. You know what? Let's just make it March 32nd. <laughs> Funny you day. are such a funny guy. Yeah. I'm going to stop in every day to see you. <laughs> he won't be here on Tuesday. That's right. I'm yeah. going to leave him Monday. messages and presents on his desk. One copy out there, so we okay. met the legal requirement. Mm -hmm. right. and we'll get more copies yeah. out. What is so our when is our next meeting? Next meeting, yeah. Uh, this uh, April 2nd. We should probably April meet 2nd. quickly in before March? the 29th. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. Just yeah. to yeah. prep for the meeting. Uh -huh. I would think so. Yeah. So why don't we just have our regular, was it third, third Monday? Third Monday. Yeah. Of March? 19th of March. Thanks, Karen. So what, um, that's not a holiday? No. <laughs> no, it's a... It's <laughs> St. Patrick's Day. Yes, yeah, the 17th. Oh, it's the 17th. Birthday. I can't read. Who? Is it Benito Benito? No, it's Benito Chaviera's okay. birthday. 17th. Observed 17. in Mexico. That's, so it's the 17th. So the 19th so will yeah. be our next <laughs> complaint meeting. We'll just be coming, too. <laughs> yeah. Right. And so then... And whatever we have to do for ho housekeeping there, we'll do. Then we will should be all of us should be at the public hearing. Yeah, that's and that's April. Yeah. That's March. March 29th. 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 Public, yeah. hearing. Public, public hearing. Public hearing. Where yeah. is it? And where? And what time? Right here. Right here. Oh, and what at six o'clock. Six o'clock. Yeah. 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 Okay. We'll do it between six and eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and and our next meeting will be at six p.m. Yeah. Yep. yep. And then we'll we'll meet that Monday after. Second. To make second. changes on the 29th, yeah. We'll get so, what's copy. the date of the Monday after the second, 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 second. Yeah. So Easter Monday? Oh boy, so we're meeting oh, in this. It's Easter Monday, yeah. I told you, Easter's gonna be on April Fool's this year, yeah. Really, April. yes. yes. So Easter Monday will be the second. That means we don't have to have candy. No, isn't April 2nd, um, Patriots Day? No, no that's uh, April, that's mid April, that's April like April 17th, yeah. 19th. Yeah. Is that so 19th? April 2nd is so we have to meet again, <laughs> uh -huh. so the 9th. Would be the following Monday. Yep. But we need to have all the stuff. We have to by meet the 10th, on the second. So, so, if this so the third one. No, the second. second. We have to also include the inventory section. So you still got to meet on and what the else? office one. It's open, not right? technically yeah, a it's holiday. Not. The Easter's on Sunday. Data. Yeah, Easter's oh, okay. on Sunday. It's not a holiday. They don't get no, the they no, don't get the No, no, Easter's always on Sunday. They don't get it. So there's a meeting on Monday the second. Yes. Yes. It's Easter Monday in Canada. 